Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, sorry about that last video that had no audio, but this is a 2v2, as I explained in the beginning. It's actually quite an interesting match. Me and a Faith Tank build kind of go up against these two Artorias guys. Doing post commentary. Um, just to let all of you know, I will ramble quite a bit in these videos, so... If you want something more structured, let me know. Yeah, right here, uh, me and this guy look like we had the same idea where we're going to try and do a rushing backstab. This is my first time, of course, seeing the Obsidian Sword, so I saw him charging that up, and I ran like a little wuss. <clears throat> and because I am a mage, I basically have no armor, so I will die quite frequently, but I can deal out, I can dish out quite a bit of damage. So, <clears throat> here, I realize that these two guys are starting to gank and attack two at a time so I try to bait them out and my buddy of mine comes out of nowhere and just forces them this gives me the opportunity to cast a couple spells kind of uh, dish out some of the bigger damage that I have and I missed that one of course because uh, soul arrow just it, it's it's not great PvP magic I'm still kind of putting my build together uh, here you see me using the um, uh, Moonlight Spear, you know, Moonlight Horn Spear, whatever, Horny Moonlight as EMB calls it. <laughs> um, and you know, these guys are playing, you know, two on one tactics, so we're kind of trying to work the same way. But it seems like these guys are just straight on physical damage, so getting around these guys aren't too hard isn't too hard but uh here i take out my soul spear and i'm like at this point i'm like you know what I, I gotta just get some kills in help us win this match and you see i help take out both of them dealing an immense amount of damage here you know i let them both spawn because uh i'm fortunately fortunately like unlike them i uh just kind of you know i'm ed educated pvp -er. And uh, this guy just kind of just runs up to me, and at this point I'm thinking I'm going to get backstabbed, and bam, there goes me. So at this point I'm thinking, you know what, I, I got to switch up my game a little bit, maybe um, try to pull a little bit more towards uh, the damage, and of course, like I said before, these guys kill my partner and they just start to gank me, and then my partner comes up with a Crescent Axe which I'm hoping for his build does quite a bit of damage um, comes up and just repeatedly uses force which is very very handy in this situation and I peg that guy with the soul spear and completely miss him due to the uh, invincibility frames which really really do get annoying sometimes um, and here I kind of uh, I kind of panic because my partner dies and knowing their tactics are going to try to attack me at the same time. At this point I'm thinking, you know, they've got to be friends uh, fighting together. Either that or um, they message each other at some point. But I'm thinking, you know what, I might as well go in for the kill, go in for the damage, and bam with the backstab. Unfortunately I don't do enough damage with the uh, spear to one shot him, but I do get him with that second attack and he is out for the count. Letting him fall again. It seems that my partner here is doing the same thing I am, letting them spawn back so that way we can go one on one. I take one, he takes the other. <clears throat> For some reason, I keep getting the guy with the obsidian great sword, which is uh, it's not a problem, but you know, it's, it seems like we've already established who we're going to attack. And here I get cornered, I start panicking, and fortunately, I am able to roll out of the way in a tiny crack. I don't even know how I got out of that. <clears throat> But, of course, you know, they're not noticing that my partner's running up behind them. And this guy, for some reason, does not get pegged with that. And I get the other one behind him, because it's, uh, I'm using Crystal Soul Spirit at this point. And it, <clears throat> it's awesome property of being able to pierce between uh, multiple enemies. I think up to three. I can't remember. So, you know, at this point, we're just kind of, we're going. We're just going. And as you watch here in a moment, I get him with the backstab. And 
and you know I said before that they were ganking, but I, I think it's I think it's only fair that if they gank, we gank, and it, it's only a fair trade off. At least we're not you know uh, spawn spawn attacking them, which is a uh, it's kind of really messed up. I've, I've had quite a few matches where this has been the case. I've I've spawned and I will get sworn by both of my enemies after they've killed my friend. And it's not it's not a very pretty it's not a very pretty thing. And this guy he gets me with a he gets me with a wide wide swing. Um, I still wasn't able to figure out what weapon he was using. Uh, too much chaos going on at the time. And I'm almost certain that he's using the Artoria sword. Not really sure which one because at this point there's three. For those of you who may or may not know, uh, with the DLC they add another Artoria sword. Um, so I mean, one of these guys is using the you know original Artoria shield, and the other one's I think using a cleansing, the cleansing shield that you get for freeing Sif. <clears throat> so you know, it's almost the end of the match, and me and my friend we're just kind of going balls out, trying to get you know these guys killed, and then bam, battle complete. You know, we get that one last kill, and that kind of puts us over the edge to win. And there you go nice decent fight i think so i hope you guys enjoyed comment rate subscribe just let me know how you guys uh, like it good day